Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He'll take it from the two. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Throws quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 43. I like to call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Wasn't fooled at all there. From the 23 yard line, second down. <laughs> nice run up the middle. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up 34. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen, and they push him out at the 11-yard line. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, South Carolina! And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 67-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Fielded at the four. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. to pitch it and now the ball is loose and they'll bring him down behind the line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. South Carolina in front, 7-0.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Tackle for a loss. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. South Carolina is up by a touchdown. Now he's scrambling. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Going for it all to the end zone. No, incomplete. There was definitely an opening for the quarterback to try to squeeze that pass in. But it was just a terrific play by the safety to prevent that touchdown. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Fires up to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. So it's second and 10. Ball in the 23. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down around the 18-yard line. That's a D on the play. Third down. They'll bring him down at the 8. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Flair! That makes it first and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Eight yards out. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. It's the ninth play of the drive. South Carolina is up a score. Throws it and is caught for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. The Gamecocks lead it by two touchdowns. 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Kick slide, kick slide. Get your hands on them. Keep them at an angle. Keep them off balance. How about the big fellas up front? just absolutely stifling the pass rush. We, we talk all the time about how defensive ch defense wins championships and the guys in the trenches. How about the hog mollies up front? I mean, my goodness, that quarterback, he could bake a pie, feed it to him in the pocket. He had so much time to sit back there, nice, warm, and cozy. Might as well get him a bottle of milk and, some, and a blankie back there in the pocket because he was just sitting back there nice and protected. Anybody can deal in that situation. I've seen Reese Davis deal in that situation. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. This All right, Reese seven, and David, Cox welcome back, seven, everybody. Seven, just about set to start the second half. Seven, deep to return. Deep to return. Taken at the five. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Gamecocks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes around the 26-yard line. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. And it carries the ball for a nice game. can take some big hits when they go out on pass patterns. So you've got to be ready for it. That time, he took the hit and he dropped the ball. And they're coming after this punter. And he's tackled at the 40. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Brought down at the 46-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. It's second and five here. Ball on the 46. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. out here tackle at the 25 yard line that's a first down from the 25 yard line first down Touchdown! Big play! Now you're looking at someone who makes a defense nervous because not every quarterback can break off a run like that. He's a real talent. He hits the PAT. A four play, 60 yard drive, and they put up seven points. 
They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. One more quarter to play, and this one appears to be well under control. 21 to nothing, Gamecocks. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Slings it, and he's immediately tackled. He steps up at about the 37-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Air Force is going to take their first time out of the hat. So they're going to go for it here. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the 23. That'll make it second And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 21 to nothing, Gamecocks. 21. And the Falcons. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.